say how you practice is how you play That's why you see me working on my game every day It's all about the climb, what you put into the grind And how do you respond when the game is on the line Do you push it to the limit, take this thing to overtime Or do you fold, we don't do that cause winning's on our mind We're coming to an end of a crazy offseason. That means the new season begins. The Quincy Militia are meeting up for the preconditioning workout. How do you come? You're already late. Hey, yo, I'm on time always. <laughs> Every year we get a bunch of new faces around here. Recruitment's been up. Every year we see a larger and larger number of guys signing up, wanting to play, wanting to climb. Hey, can we get some rose petals? Another year, another season, man. We're back at it. Every season, the Quincy Militia hold their preconditioning workouts. This is five weeks of intense weightlifting and training. This is also where the team evaluates who works the hardest and who's the most committed. To the back of the line. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so last year I came to this and I was, uh, at first it was a little intimidating looking at all the guys, not knowing anyone. I was new to the city. Uh, but coming to this really opened my eyes, made a lot of new friends. It was good. It was fun. Um, and then it just, it got me better for the season because I knew everybody. He's always got cameras on us. It's like Big Brother. This year I think it's good for a lot of rookies coming in to do it. They're getting to know the veterans, rookies are getting to know the rookies. It's a good thing, the team from Robert is going up already. And it's only the first day, so we can only go up from here. So last year, semifinals. Um, you know, I think we should have won. We, should, we could have done better than we did. Uh, however, we didn't. So this year, there's a lot of expectations in Quincy for us. Uh, we got to make sure that we're pushing ourselves and we, we get to the next level by you know doing the right things, taking it one play at a time, one game at a time. But I think we got the talent here to do it, and I'm excited for this year. It should be good. Having the rookies and the vets work out together helps fuel that competitive drive. Everyone knows it takes hard work and commitment to earn a spot. Nothing is given to anyone, and every position is open. We have the rookies trying to take a position, and the vets trying to keep one. This is five weeks of working out. If you ain't doing it on your own, this isn't going to be enough. You have the new guys here. I mean, it's good competition for us guys who are coming back. It's also good for us to show them how hard they have to work. I mean, I know no one's working harder than me, so if I see someone who's, you know, who's gonna make me push, make me push myself, I mean, I ain't gonna let them beat me. Jump ship, I mean, like, you gotta stay focused, stay with your team, we're family. We're fucking family, let's do this. Where did you three different 
workouts. When I say switch, you're gonna switch. All right? This is where we're gonna see who's gonna last. This is where we're gonna see. All right, the first one we're gonna do. This year, the militia brought back high intensity trainer Danny Montero. He teaches proper technique and emphasizes strength building. Right, my name is Danny Montero. We're over here. It's my second year training the guys. A bunch of new guys on the team. We're here to get strong. We're here to get flexible, powerful, explode through the team this year. Nobody's going to be able to stand them as long as they keep going, working like this. The team knows it's going to take more than five weeks of working out to get them ready for a whole season. Danny hopes that they take what they learned in the past five weeks and implement it in their own workouts. Also returning this year is offensive coordinator Tony Green. Tony coached the defense last year and did such a phenomenal job that we decided to move over to the offense. The offense struggled last year, so we felt like we had to make the move. And Tony is the guy best suited for this job. We're gonna run the play that we call. Pretty much he'd be running that. Because we don't want to be having mistakes. Questions? Good. Can we set up an offensive line facing the Paris or you can all look at yourselves? I know you like that. It's great that we had such good numbers, good looking athletes, a lot of young guys. We have a lot of older guys that are really, really good. Now we're going to augment with, with some of the young guys. And we're looking pretty good. In this league, you got to have a good offense to be able to put up points. If you put up points, you win games. This season, the militia went out and recruited heavily on the offensive side. A lot of new skill position players and a lot of offensive linemen. Also returning is defensive line coach Marcus Barrow. I expect big things out of my D-line. I expect them to be more aggressive, more physical. I'm just ready for them to bring the me now. It's time to take the leash off these boys and let them play. You know, they did well last year. It's time to get even better this year. Man, when is the first day not okay, you know? I love him, man. Oh, shut up, man. Oh, man, I want to win this ring, man. We should have had it last year, but shit happens. That's how it is, you know? We're going to finish it off with our feet work. So everybody's going to be facing me. Go! Go! Ah! I puked twice, and I've never been so miserable and so happy at the same time. <laughs> I'm Devon Jennings. Um, this is my first time with um, the Quizzle Militia in the workout. Um, it's a great atmosphere, um, especially for being my first time back on the field since college. I'm trying to play receiver, you know, get back to that spot, um, try to help as much as I can. Um, at the end of the day, I'm here for whatever position you guys need. I'm a little guy, but I'll play line if you need me. That's it. I'm here for the team. That's it. Way. You get out of it what you put into it. Let's hear militia loud and proud on three. One team, one go, one, two, three. Woo! See you next week, one o'clock on time. We can lose the gym till four. It's the second week of the workouts. We still have a good number of guys showing up. Next. Even the rookies look a lot more comfortable and jumping right in. When the vets are putting in work, it sends a strong message to the rookies. It shows them that with enough time and dedication, they could earn their respect as well as their position. My name is Dan Page. 
I'm going out for linebacker. This is my first year. I've been playing football in like three years and watch football every day and I just miss it. I'm here working and halfway through it, I, I think it's miserable. But I go home and best thing ever. And I can't wait to come back this week. Week two, 35 guys. We have 40 contracts signed, and we're in the uh, first week of March. How many teams already have that? We have that part accomplished, but we're trying to get them together to be a team right away. And this is what you do: you build your team and build being a family and a team at the same time by like coming to these gyms, getting to meet your players. So before you go outside and you start banging heads, you already know you guys. I want to see. Uh, a little bit more intensity going into the last two weeks. And I think we can do that. Commitment, unity, hard nose play would take us all the way. One team, one goal. First year old lineman Richie Turpin is already feeling the burn. Back at it again. Good turnaround. We're gonna see who's gonna make it. No games. Here we go. Although the workouts are intense and competitive, it's still good to have a little fun. Right here, right? And I'm gonna do it talking to you and smiling. Alright, so we're gonna show up if you want to. Ah, how you doing, girl? Ah. Huh? Oh. Put it up. Here. Get this work. Get this work. Full fledged conversation. Okay? Hey, full fledged. Man. She ain't got no service. Alright, how you losing service? We try to look. We try to have a full fledged conversation. She over here. There she go. Y'all see ya. What's up though? That's how you work. Hey, we you watch this side? Hey boss. Want to hit them grab this side? Just, just in case I fall. You got this. You get five. No, no, no. I already know that. It's important to have rookies with good work ethics and that are committed this early, especially at this level of football. We have a good rookie class this year. We're really looking forward to see what a lot of them can do. Like new wideout, Marvin Beasley. Marvin Beasley, wide receiver, first year playing. Uh, I was playing college. Decided to uh, come join the militia. I like I like the environment here. Uh, everyone is like you know really chill. Everyone's like a brother here. I just can't wait to see what we can do against other teams. That's good work. Alright, come on, last one, last one, last one. Why not? Right. Come on, come on. <laughs> 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 we got some That's easy. That's light work. 
this level, it's just as hard to find dedicated coaches as it is to find dedicated players. Coaching has been a long time problem here in Quincy, so there's a lot of pressure on the coaches to get this team to succeed. Let me take 
this thing to overtime? Or do you fold? We don't do that, cause winning's on our mind. See, we got on the way up to the top. And we don't stop till we get there.